I know people love the aim three, but I feel like this is just kind of better, at least for me. Like I can actually, as you can see, hit my shots. So hello gamers and welcome back to another episode of my ranking series. Today we're going to be ranking the pistol category. And yes, we have covered every single primary weapon category. So if you want to see primary weapons, maybe go check out my past videos. And if you want to know how I rank these guns, make sure to check out my assault rifle ranking video. Make sure to comment your favorite pistol down below. Let's start it off with the M9. The M9 is not a bad gun by any means. It has a lot of reserve ammo, pretty decent magazine capacity. It has a nice stock to lower the kind of annoying rotational recoil. Three kill to the body, two a kill to the head. It's pretty good. However, there is just one major problem and that is that the Glock exists. The Glock 17 is just better. I'm going to be real. This is not a bad gun by any means and it has a couple of redeeming stuff that makes it a little bit better than the Glock 17 in a few ways. But since you get it at the same rank as the Glock 17, I don't think you should ever really use this gun. So I will be giving it a two out of five, kind of one of the lowest scores I've given here because when there's a gun that doesn't have a ton of reasons to be used, not a really a ton of reasons for me to recommend it. It does one more damage than the Glock up close, but has the same hits to kill because of multis, and also has worse recoil, a little bit more velocity though. But yeah, just smaller mag, more recoil. They were actually going to remove the extra velocity, which I was like, why are you removing that? Please add that back because this is the only reason the M9 is okay. Next up, we have the Glock 17, which as you know, it's just the M9, but no recoil. It has the same hits to kill, actually a better min damage range, a little bit less velocity, which is not a huge problem because it's a literal pistol. Same RPM, it's basically the same damage, same min damage, one less max, but like I said, doesn't matter. And yeah, just a bigger magazine and less recoil. I'm gonna be real, really good pistol. If you have a good trigger finger, I don't. That's why I struggle with these kind of pistols. And that's why I don't really use them too much is because if you're good at like clicking fast, they are good and they're not bad even if you're not good at clicking fast. 780 RPM, you can get like you know, really fast RPM. That's not even close to what you can get. You can get literally M4A1 RPM, but a two hit kill head, which makes it theoretically better than the M4A1. This is an overall four out of five pistol. I don't think it's a five out of five because it used to have 50 GI, which just made it amazing, but it's a really good overall pistol and a four to five seems pretty good. But then next up we have the 1911, which does 48 in close range and is still a four hit kill at long range. So it's a two hit kill head, like a three hit kill to the body. That's just the Glock, but it has a smaller magazine and more recoil. Well, it has a torso multi. If you don't know what that is, if you hit a guy in the freaking body, the big block in the center of it does extra damage, which means it's a two shot anyway, because it does about 52 to the torso and 48 to the limbs, which means you can get a one limb, one torso combo and still get a two hit. So hit one shot to the big block in the center of the guy and one shot anywhere else and it will kill them. Hit one shot head, which would be really broken. It's a pretty consistent two hit kill. It looks really fast, has great reserve ammo for how many rounds it has in a mag. And I'm going to give this one a five out of five. For me, this is actually better than the Glock because you can panic and pull it out and usually two hit kill a guy. That's pretty cool. And the RPM is only marginally less than the Glock, which is kind of funny. It only has 60 less. It still has 720 RPM. So if you want to super spam a guy, you can do that in close range. Next up though, we have the Deagle L5. It can one hit kill head pretty far. It has pretty low recoil overall, like all things considered. And it can two hit kill to the body. It will be a four hit kill and a three hit kill limit range. But the fact that it can one hit kill, it reloads fast and it still has pretty nice RPM. Makes it a very good sidearm. Basically a pocket DMR and with extended barrel it just is better so just use it with extended barrel. The handling is still great and everything so yeah this is a really good deagle. In my opinion the XIX is better but this is a lower rank. Has double the RPM and can still one hit kill head so this will be getting a 5 out of 5. In my opinion the MP412 Rex is kind of it's not better necessarily. This has a faster reload bigger magazine. It really does rely on extended barrel to be great. I guess you could say MP412 Rex also kind of needs cowboy barrel to be really good. But yeah 5 out of really really good gun. But next up we have the Glock 21. The Glock 21 has a 13 round capacity smaller than the Glock 17. However it does actually pack a much greater punch. Same hits to kill up close however it can actually four hit kill torso at any range but it requires all four torso shots which you're not usually gonna hit that I'm not gonna lie the recoil is pretty low though. For me this is a tiny bit better than the Glock 17 but still not amazing. You used to be able to four hit kill torso way easier and it's still really good but I'm gonna give it a four out of five because for Glocks it's not really the best. I kind of prefer the two we kill from other pistols, such as the L5 and the 1911. Next up, though, we have the Glock 23. Now, the Glock 23 has kind of similar stats to the Glock 21. However, it has a faster reload time and actually less recoil. I'm going to be real. This is kind of an objective tiny upgrade to the Glock 17. With really similar recoil, but just packs a little bit more punch. Does two more damage close and long range and has a torso multiplier and still the same headshot multiplier and has a faster reload time, which is nice because like, yeah, it doesn't have as many bullets, but the 
reload time is kind of better in a lot of aspects because you have enough bullets to take on a guy, but if you get caught reloading, it's not going to take as long. Yeah, this is going to get a 5 out of 5 for me because for the Glocks, this is second best in my opinion. There's a Glock later that's actually a little bit better. But next up, we have the M45A1. It has a bigger magazine, but fires slower than the 1911. I think it has, it has about the same recoil. And it does have an extended mag for 15 rounds, which is pretty nice. The biggest thing about this is that it requires two torso shots to two-hit kill. It's not going to two-hit kill as much, but if you run hollow point, it can two-hit kill limb. It does awful damage at range, but it can two-hit kill limb to like 50 studs, which you can't really hate on that. It won't be a long-range gun at all. It will suck at range, like it already does, because it is not a gun for long range. But yeah, with hollow point or close range, you can run hollow point on 1911. Then you'll have a smaller magazine and basically the same gun. So yeah, I am going to give this one a 5 out of 5 as well. For default stuff, the 1911 is kind of better, but for hollow point, this is better. It has a bigger magazine and extended mag. So next up, we have, in my opinion, the best Glock in the game. The Glock 40, which does a bit less damage than the other Glocks in the game in close range. You're like, plus 33. Well, it has a torso multi, so it can actually still 3 hit kill to the body if you're hitting torsos, but you only got to hit 1, which is not really that bad at all. And it does 25 min damage, which means you can actually 4 hit kill anywhere all ranges, which is kind of cracked. It also has a slightly larger default magazine. Here's where it gets actually crazy, though. It has a 1.75 times headshot multi, which allows it to not only 2 hit kill up close, but still do like 40 headshot damage at any range. It's way more than any other Glock except for the Glock 50, but like, we'll talk about the Glock 50 in a second. This and the Glock 23 are the two best Glocks, in my opinion. This is more of like a DMR Glock. You could literally put a scope on this and it would still be great with like SL8 hits to kill at range and SKS hits to kill at range basically. Really, really cracked gun. I highly recommend you check this out if you didn't like the other Glocks because this just feels like it packs more of a punch because it, it just does. It does pack more of a punch. Overall, maybe the best pistol in the game, in my opinion at least. Easy 5 out of 5. But next up, we have the KG99. Now, the KG99, there's not a ton of reasons to use this. It does fire really fast for a semi-auto pistol, so if you have a great trigger finger, pretty cool. It's a 3 to a 5 hit. It doesn't have a 2-hit kill head, which is annoying. It has a default... 20 round magazine. It does have an extended mag for 32, which is actually less than the Glock. And I'm gonna be real, if you like this gun, props to you. It's fine. It's a, it's a decent gun. It's alright. I just don't get it. I don't understand why I would ever use this gun. I like the Glock 40 more. I like the Glock 17 more. I like the Glock 23 more. I like the M9 more even. And yes, this isn't a direct upgrade or downgrade to any other gun in particular, but I'm gonna give this one a 3 out of 5. Higher than the M9 because, like I said, it's not a direct upgrade or downgrade of any other gun in the game. To be real, it's not great. Next up, though, we have the Glock 50. Now, the Glock 50 is capable of two-hitting to the torso in close range, which is pretty cool. They're actually going to not add that feature when they first added the Glock 50. I was like, what the heck? You removed Glock 17 50 GI, and then you added a awful version of it that can't even two-hit, and I was pretty mad about that. They did add it. However, the Glock 50 is not that great. It fires slower than the other Glocks, which is not really a problem because this is with a stock that really helps the recoil it's not that great that will fall off pretty hard at longer ranges as you can see and yes it is a two hit kill to the torso with two torsos which is just the m1911 actually worse than the m1911 and worse than the m45a1 it has a smaller magazine than the m45a1 i'm gonna be completely honest um this has awful velocity the min damage is fine it's a four hit kill torso so what's the really big upside of this gun i guess probably most importantly it does big headshot damage it has a two times headshot multiplier which means it does 90 headshot up close, which is not bad. That's like the only thing that I can think of that is like really kind of special about it. And yes, it does fire decently fast. 1911 fires faster, actually. But I'm going to be real. Definitely nowhere near as good as the old Glock 17 50 GI, but it's not bad. I'm going to give it a 4 to 5. 1911 and M45A1 are just... I'm going to be real. They're kind of just better. They have less drop, even. That means velocity and damage-wise. Like, they do more damage at range, and they have more velocity. So kind of weird. Definitely not the worst pistol in the game. Can't really use it for long range too well like the Glock 40, which you can kind of spray. And keep in mind, this is with the stock, which fixes the recoil by so much, like use the stock. I should mention this does have G-Switch, which does give it automatic, but a pretty trash two-hit kill range. It doesn't really shoot fast at all, and it's kind of just a shell of the former Glock 18 50 GI. And next up, we have the 5.7. In my last pistol ranking video from like a year ago, I actually gave this one second best in the game, and like 50 pistols have been added since then, so I don't really feel like it's second best. It's up there, and for a lot of purposes, it is the best pistol in the game 
depending on how you use it. However, the Glock 40 is kind of this, but better. Here's the thing about this that made it pretty nice, right? It had 800 RPM default 20 round mag, which, you know, it has those. It had an extended mag for 30 rounds, which is pretty decent. And it could four hit kill to the body, but three hit kill to the torso, right? And it could also four hit kill torso all ranges and had pretty high velocity and pen. Those things are still nice. However, the Glock 40 is a four hit kill to the limbs. Has a 30 round extended mag as well. Has honestly just less annoying recoil. Doesn't go to the right like this one does. Yes, it has less pen, I think. However, more min and requires less torso shots because this is a three hit kill with all torsos. If you had a single hit to the limbs, it will be a four hit, which is kind of atrocious for close range, not gonna lie. Why? This does fire a little bit faster, but it just doesn't do as good damage. So yeah, it is kind of tied with the Glock 40, I would say. In my opinion, Glock 40 is just better. It does have a couple of upsides over the Glock 40, and I still feel like it's one of my favorite pistols in the game. I really like it in games like CSGO. It doesn't have a two-hit kill head. The Glock 40 does have that, but maybe I'm biased. Maybe I gave it second best like a year ago, and now I still want to give it a pretty good score, but I will be giving this one a five out of five. Next up though, we have the Zip 22. Now the Zip 22, um, doesn't even need an introduction. It is the weakest pistol, almost the weakest gun in the entire game. Um, I think for close range, it might have the lowest damage per shot. It can three hit kill head at any range, which is kind of cool, but so can the Glock 40. And the Glock 40 is a three hit, and this is like a seven hit to the body. This gun sucks. This gun is not good. Like, don't even tell me it's good. It does have a couple of redeeming qualities, which is that it has extremely low recoil, a 50 round drum, which is the only thing that makes it okay, because you can shoot for ages, and also good headshot damage. But like, there are guns that do more headshot damage damage and because they reload fast it doesn't really matter how many rounds it has like this bad 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 gun i will be giving this one a two out of five the reason that both the m9 and this got a two out of five the m9 is way better but the m9 just exists and it's called the glock 17 it's better this has some stuff but it's bad it's just a bad gun don't use it unless it's a meme because if you're using it for me i'm completely fine with that but don't even try to tell me that this is a good gun next up we have the g1m1 now the g1m1 you'd think on paper that it's better than the 1911 it can one shot headshot in close range has a little bit less bullets in a mag but can three hit kill torso at any range however it has a lot of drop worse velocity than the other pistols in the game and also it just has kind of bad recoil i'm gonna be real like this is the max rpm you can really get because it has a lot of recoil. It's more of like a tapping gun, and if you're good at tapping people, it's not too bad. I'm gonna be real, if you're like incredibly cracked, honestly, this might be one of the best pistols to use. So I will be giving it a five out of five because I feel like it's got some stuff. And yeah, the recoil is uh, a huge downside of it. But this is really fun because it takes serious trigger control. As you can see the amount of different RPMs I'm firing this gun at to be effective with it because you can't be effective doing that all the time because it has that recoil. So you gotta like, you know, you can see I'm, I'm actually using the different RPMs of this gun to be effective with it, which is really fun. But next up, we have the Hardballer. Now, the Hardballer, I'm going to be real. Use the G1M1. They give this actually pretty nice recovery speed, and it can three-hit kill to the limbs at any range, which is kind of crap. The recoil still kind of sucks. It can't even two-hit kill limb. It can, I think, with torsos, but I think it has to be two. Maybe not even that. I don't know. Regardless, uh, it's fine. It's good for tap firing at range, but like there are better ranged guns. I'm going to be real. Honestly, because of recoil and everything, I'm going to say I probably just prefer prefer surprisingly to use the glock 40 which does a lot less damage but you know it fires faster it has better recoil and everything i'm not saying this is bad i'm going to give it a four to five it feels like a very not well rounded but the niche for it is really well thought out or yeah it doesn't do amazing close range damage but three hit kill all ranges makes it not bad like it's a really decent all range pistol next up though we have the suppressed macrov i'm gonna stop trying to say it i don't know how to say this name um Ish issue with this. I don't think I should give this one like a two or a one out of five, but I'm gonna be real. This has never really been that great. It had a niche before, which is that big headshot damage, so it could kill with one limb and one head, which is pretty cool for two hits. But like, they're just guns that do more damage in the pistol category now and perform better at range. The only reason that this is gonna get any kind of score from me is that it has the extended magazine. I don't know why it's called magazine because it's a drum mag. Regardless, it has a drum, which is pretty cool. 80 rounds, but you don't get any reserve ammo. It's not the best gun in the game because you may as well just reload but if you don't want to reload this is really good for that i don't like it more than the macrov i think i'm gonna give it a three but next up we have the macrov now the macrov for some reason has a slower muzzle velocity than the suppressed version which is not normal it also has the extended magazine however it does less damage has a bit more recoil and has way less headshot multi it means it's not really gonna get that same kind of combo of one head one limb so like the niche is kind of gone yeah it has the extended mag and it does more damage at long range but i'm gonna be real they buff the suppressed version and got it better i'm not gonna lie like 
I'm gonna give this one a 2 out of 5 because it has a little bit of redeemable stuff. Mostly just like better ranged performance. But yeah, I mean it has the extended mag, but so does the suppressed version. And next up we have the GB22. Now default GB22, I'm gonna be real, it's gonna get a 1 out of 5. But this is the GB50 conversion, which has a new fire sound, I think. Only has one bullet, however, it can one hit kill to the torso to a pretty decent range. And one hit kill to the head at any range. It's gonna be like a 2 to a 3 hit to the body. And honestly, wow, the ranges are weird. It's kind of a meme gun. Gun, but the one hit kill head all ranges and if you're very good at hitting heads 10 mil is busted because long barrel and 10 mil has really good velocity for hitting heads at any range and if you're not that great you also got 50 action express for that one hit kill to the torso in close range and the one hit kill head at any range which you know it's not too bad i'm gonna give this one a four out of five because if you're really really good you can actually take advantage of a better torso kill range than most of the other kind of secondary one hit kill torso guns like get a one hit kill to the head at any range and the reload time is extremely fast as well the default gun is like a one out of ten but like this is not a bad gun what even was that for a torso kill i'm gonna be real like yeah it's not a five out of five because it doesn't have a magazine or anything and it doesn't have a ton of reserve because you'll just run out really fast but when you take into account that it has a really nice at least i think 70 stud torso kill range wait no it's at least an 80 stud what like farther than sniper rifles what? yeah it's still a four out of five because of that fact that it has uh, one bullet but still pretty good that was just outside of the torso kill range though that's 88 studs so yeah but next up we have the xix the deagle xix doesn't headshot kill all ranges but it headshot kills extremely far you kill with two torsos at any range and it has a magazine and it shoots pretty fast it can kill with one body shot as you can see it's just going to outperform the gb50 because it has a magazine with actually eight rounds and it can still one hit kill it even has extended barrel uh, which will give you a better torso kill range a better headshot kill range better velocity it has absolutely awful handling with that so i don't use it and it also has a police barrel which will give you a very far like almost 200 stun headshot kill range but a worse torso kill range i just use default has a 40 stud torso kill range 200 rpm you know it's really really good as you can see it's my main pistol i have like 2300 kills on it or something stupid because i just use it passively all the time because if you want to run a pistol this is like the best thing to use pretty easy five out of five i'm not gonna lie i would say the best pistol in the game but there is a second pistol that can actually be comparatively better because it has a way better headshot kill range and more rpm it's the am3 now the am3 is kind of cracked it does all right damage to the body it's a two hit kill and it doesn't shoot amazingly fast or anything but it has like a 140 stud one hit kill head range and great velocity and that plus the faster rpm means that basically you can tap people down pretty far better than the police barrel i'm not gonna lie it doesn't have the one hit kill torso but like as you can see um if you're hitting heads this is amazing literally a pocket one shot bmr i'd say overall because it doesn't one hit kill to the body wow well, that it isn't quite as good as the xx but i'm gonna be real like if you want the one hit kill head like this is the best thing in the entire game for that and yes even better than that one headshot killing gun from before it also does 82 torso which is not bad then we have the gyro jet mark one this is objectively worse to that good old gyro jet carbine in like every way however it's a secondary so does it really matter that much i don't know you can one hit kill head at any range and one hit kill torso has like 200 studs or something it has like 200 rpm really really good lots of drop however and it has bloom like a shotgun so won't always shoot in the same spot it has a lot of drop as well but one hit kill torso at any range has a certain range which is a, 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 a little bit broken not gonna lie there are some major downsides to it of course which is 1000 velocity is awful it has bloom so it just has like inconsistent accuracy but i'm gonna be real i know people love the m3 but i feel like this is just kind of better at least for me like i can actually as you can see hit my shots i don't know why like it, it's it should be the same as the uh m3 but for like that bloom i can actually like hit my shots i don't know why yeah i'm gonna give this one a five out of five it easily should be objectively it's like the best pistol in the entire game in fact it's probably better than most primary snipers when you think about it with 200 rpm and it can body shot at any range it's literally better than like any sniper rifle that isn't like the m107 it has some huge downsides of course it can't one shot to the torso in close range it doesn't shoot too fast it has awful drop as i've said multiple times because you need to know that like it is bad dude. then we have the gsp it can one hit kill head to pretty 
far. 70 studs or something. It's semi-auto, so it's like, it's better than the Amp 3 because well, the Amp 3 is semi-auto as well, but like, this has 450 RPM instead of 280. So you're like, okay, well, it fires faster. It just doesn't headshot kill as far. And it does okay body damage. It's like a three hit kill torso. And yeah, it has the one hit kill head, but I'm gonna be real. If you want a generic pistol experience, don't use this gun. It's not good for that. And if you want like a high rank pistol experience with that one shot headshot and stuff, the M3 just does it better. Yes, this does fire a lot faster. So if you're not great, you can make up for the fact that you can't hit heads. However, it just doesn't one hit kill head as far and i'm gonna be real only five rounds and stuff and you'll just shoot them really fast and it doesn't do anywhere near as good body damage so like the m3 just does what this does but better so i will be giving this one a four out of five but it is still extremely good just in my opinion there is a better one hit kill head range gun but if you want the higher rpm so you can kind of make up for trash aim at times that's pretty good then you have the grizzly the grizzly is not bad it sounds amazing i love the sound effect and it fires significantly faster than the xix but it has a worse torso kill range worse damage at range and it's kind of just worse than the xix in my opinion but it does have some redeeming stuff like the higher rpm is basically the only thing but um that is pretty nice to have so i will be giving this one honestly a five out of five like i don't think i should give it anything less because any torso killing semi-auto pistol is going to be a five out of five it doesn't even matter like what kind of stats it has it's a one hit kill torso pistol like it can't be bad if you guys want to see a comparison between the grizzly and the xx maybe the executioner as well that'd be pretty cool so yeah comment down below if you want to see that next up though we have the m2011 now the m2011 kind of is like the gs E, yeah, it's not exactly the same. It can't one-shot headshot. It does 32 to the body with a torso multi, so it can 3 kill torso. However, it has 20 rounds, no recoil, and an extremely fast reload time, which just eviscerates everything because in a fight where you have to reload, this has a 1.6 second reload. That's faster than like the M4A1. Even with like 2545, I think that's the same reload time. Like, that is ridiculous, dude. Not the best body damage, but really good headshot damage and really good recoil. I'm gonna be real. This is a 5 out of 5 pistol. It's not necessarily like the best pistol in the game or anything, but if you're hitting your headshots, just not even that hard to hit them. It's going to be a pretty consistent 2 hit kill. kind of does what the suppressed Makarov does, but better. If you're not hitting your headshots, you'll probably lose to something like the 1911 or the G1M1, which will be able to one-shot you. Even the GSP might beat you if you're not good at hitting follow-up shots, but GSP has got 5 bullets. Next up, though, we have the Alien. Now, the Alien does like 97 head or something, but it can't one-shot headshot. It does have pretty weird but low recoil in a 17 round magazine um however it's kind of just worse than the m2011 i don't know why you would use this you get it at a higher rank it has a smaller magazine a slower reload time basically the same hits to kill and it falls off super hard at range it does 16 versus 19 min it does have a torso multi which means it might not always be a seven hit kill at range but if you're hitting headshots it's not gonna be too bad but the drop is kind of worse and the m2011 by quite a bit i'm gonna be real i don't know why you would really use this gun it has a 0.5 second slower reload time and the m2011 slower rpm i guess it can three kill limb so this one will be getting a four out of five not a huge fan of it it's all right though next up though we have the af 2011 now the af 2011 it is two 1911s put together so lots of recoil but it can one shot headshot up close and i'm gonna be real this gun used to be so busted beyond belief it did 42 maximum damage and i discovered since it fires two bullets in basically the same spot it was basically a one hit kill limb in close range because it did 50 damage per bullet and fired both in exactly the same spot as you can see that was very very broken they did fix it and it's fine now it isn't amazing I like the g1m1 kind of does it better it preserves damage better since it will always like hit its one shot this does have some spread to it and weird recoil i do like how it is a very high rank it feels like a very high rank gun that's just kind of ridiculous and not gonna be everybody's main pistol i'll give it a four out of five xx is going to be better before I would have said this was better than the XIX because of funny hollow point combo. And as you can see at that range, wasn't even a one shot head, which is not that great. But as you can see from there, um, if you're in this kind of range, it will eviscerate. But last up, we have, of course, the Boxy Monster. I will include this in the list because it is a pistol. However, you have to buy the Nerf gun. So not a lot of people have this. I will let you guys know if you guys want your own Boxy Monster, I do give away Boxy Monsters every once in a while on my Discord. I gave away, I think, like, six at this point. Yeah, join my Discord server if you want that. But basically, Boxy Buster is like the M1911 darts conversion, which I forgot to mention. Mostly because it sucks. The dart conversion is basically kind of like this, where you only got one bullet and it doesn't even 
one shot to the torso and has a lot of drop. So the default this gun is like freaking two out of five or something stupid. Like it's like nothing. It is non-existent as a gun. However, if you run elite darts, it has even more drop, but it does one shot to the torso. Basically a worse G50, I mean GB50, because it has 250 velocity instead of 1,500. It literally has like one seventh of the velocity in a worse torso kill range and like the same reload time. Basically, if you want this gun, don't get it because it's good. Get it because you like, like the gun and you think it's funny because it's it's bad it is not good so with elite darts it's like a two out of five you know actually you know what no it, it's a one out of five regardless but for fun factor it is a five out of five it's very funny this guy's really trying to melee me but i'm, I'm sliding so he can't get to me oh my god i want to get one more kill one more kill oh boxy buster what do we want hey that is toxic can i freaking vote kick this guy i had to farm a hundred kills on this gun and since you can't pre-buy attachments i couldn't use elite darts for that entire time because it was when i was going for 100 kills on every gun in the game and yeah that was pretty painful i'm not gonna lie i don't even think this can penetrate glass like if you shoot glass with it it won't go through it would just stop on the glass yeah really awful gun do not use it because it's good but as you can see you can still get some kills with it if you're really close to a guy Ooh. oh got him Bro, my movement. But yeah, this might honestly be the longest one I've done so far. I end up being like half an hour long. Make sure to like and sub because yeah, this is going to take me a long time to edit. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.